that's, of course, the uh, Halloween theme, John Carpenter's classic low-budget horror film set the template for the modern horror movie. It went on to become one of the most profitable films ever, costing just $320,000 to make and grossing $107 million worldwide. Nice work, if you can get it. The last horror film I knowingly watched or willingly watched was The Exorcist. And recently I visited the house where The Exorcist was filmed and even walking on those creaking timbers scared the life out of me. And because it's Halloween, the film channels are filled with horror films. So I thought I'd ask, why do people love horror movies? And who better to help me through that subject than the professor of psychology and health at Lancaster University, Professor Kerry Cooper. Professor Cooper, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, good, good evening, George. In a nutshell, why do you think people like to be scared witless in the cinema, pay money for it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think there's different explanations for different people. I think there's some people who have all sorts of emotions buried underneath and project them out into horror films. That's one group of people. And then there's another group of people who's quite the opposite. They lead kind of humdrum lives. They need some kind of stimulation. They're the kind of people who would go bungee jumping. You know, they go abseiling. They skydive. They do things that stimulate them because they don't get enough stimulation in their life. And believe me, when you see a horror movie, you certainly get stimulation. What are the effects? What are the physical effects of, uh, of being scared like that? Well, I mean, the psychophysiological effects are adrenaline, noradrenaline being pumped around your body. I mean, we're a chemistry set. That's all we are as human beings. And we have a lot of... Uh, biochemistry going around our system and it the, you know these horror films stimulate it is that healthy professor <laughs> i'm not so sure it's healthy i mean i don't think it's unhealthy but i'm not sure it's actually very healthy for you it, i guess a lot would depend on whether you're a sedentary person or not if you're a fairly active person it probably does you no damage but it's like anything else in life if you're either if you're predisposed to heart disease or any other kind of problem like that and you have things that kind of pump the adrenaline and noradrenaline in your body around, it could potentially have negative effects, but for the vast majority of people, it doesn't. I mean, it's a growing genre, isn't it? I mean, since Halloween, perhaps because of the fantastic return on such a small investment, uh, these films are, are ten a penny now. Does that suggest that the number of people in our society who want to be scared is growing? I think it probably does, but it's, I think if you t it's generational, don't you think so, George? I mean, I think it's the younger people. I mean, you're not going to want, you're not, a 50 year old is not going to watch a, a horror movie. They're not going to go, you know, out to spend the bucks to go, to go see a horror movie. Maybe it's going to be the younger generation, I think, who want, either want the stimulation, want to get a lot of the energy out of themselves, want to get a lot of emotion out and project it out. And I think it's those people who are going to go watch it. And, and it's sort of like, you know, when you're going on a, uh, a roller coaster, right? There are some people, by the way, you know, they, they love the stimulation of going on a roller coaster. Kind of frightened, but they get their emotions But again, out. It's, again it's mainly younger people, isn't it? It's, it's, it's younger people. Then there are going to be some people who don't actually want to see it, younger people, but are part of a kind of group, and they feel they have to go see it. Mm. With that group, you know, it's, it, it's like the roller coaster phenomenon as well. There are a lot of kids, you know, who, who have to, you know, are dared to go on this sea of pressure, yeah. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's a lot of peer pressure for some of them. I think there's different explanations for different people, and, and I think they're the kind of opposite. But it is a very, um, it's a growing phenomenon. Now, I, now, what does that tell us about young people? Uh, do they not get enough stimulation in their life? Or do they not have avenues to express feelings that they keep buried and they, and they project onto these horror films and other activities they engage in? Uh, that, that's the kind of question we ought to ask ourselves because, I mean, it is quite unique, isn't it? I mean, in my day, it was psycho, right? Yeah. I mean, that was mild in comparison oh, to what yeah. you see now. Oh, laughably mild, no. Uh, yeah, I guess what, the thing that was only, that was scary for us was, I guess, when, when I'm watching a film like that, was that Janet Lee got killed early. I mean, she was a top <laughs> star. I mean, that's the most scary bit. Yeah. Now, is this a Western phenomenon, uh, or are all societies turned on in some way by this kind of phenomenon? Well, that's very interesting. I, I don't know the answer to that. I mean, uh, I would have thought it was much more of a Western thing. 
Listen, a developing country has other issues. Has other horrors. I mean, they have other horrors, but believe me, you know, you look at Indonesia now and you look all over the world, right? They, they have other things they have to deal with, and watching horror films is probably not that high on the agenda. Well, The Exorcist was the last one for me. Psycho, Psycho did it for you. Uh, would you think about going to a horror movie? Oh, uh, uh, when it, last night, funny enough, Jaws was on, right? Yeah. Uh, that to me is a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was going to watch something time, else. Yeah. But anyway, I, but in, I happened to watch the last 15 minutes of it, which was the most horrendous scene. I forgot all about it. Yeah. And I actually had to turn it on. I just couldn't cope with it. And that wasn't a real shark, of course, but it certainly looked like a boy, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so... It's Halloween. The, the screens are going to be full of it. What's your advice? Watch them, not watch them. Uh, if you, if you, look, if you enjoy it, that's fine. Whatever purpose it serves for you psychologically, that's okay. If you like it, fine. And if you don't like it, don't go with people who do like it if you don't like it. Professor, you've been very helpful. Thanks very much Thank indeed, you for joining us so late at night. Professor Gary Cooper, professor of psychology at Lancaster University.